Hello and welcome to tutorial. This is going to be a quick tutorial on what happens and how to fix a stuck power button. So I got home from college and I found this just stuck, probably from last night. You know, probably some like J2O a couple of years ago, stuck down there. Anyway, it's totally stuck, it doesn't work and your computer's just stuck off. Probably you got a cheap case like this one. And what happens is I have this reset button next to it. You hopefully have one. And this is perfectly fine, you know, it's just a switch, like a button switch. Um, it's very loose, mine is, compared to this annoying sticky power button. And what we're going to do is basically just swap the leads to the motherboard from the power button to the reset button so what this means is this reset button will act as a power as the power button basically and then i've just taken the one from the power button out so it doesn't do anything and yeah so that's what we're gonna do so first step from there make sure it is switched off and pull out the plug. Then you want to take any cables to whatever really, um, whatever might be in the way. So probably the graphics card because we might need to take that out. Now, once you open up your case, mine's pretty dusty and really bad cable management, you will have your motherboard. And you need to find the location of where the pins will be. So my recommendation is to find the name of your motherboard, which should be on your motherboard. Mine is there, P8Z68V. So you just Google that, and then try and find the manual for it online. It should be in a PDF format. And then what you can do from there is have a look through, and it will should find where the um, little pins are on the board which link to the switches at the top. So once you've found the name of your motherboard you just go into Google, type in the name and try and find the website of the brand. Then on mine it has a support button so I just click that and you want to try and look for the booklet that came with the motherboard. You may have an actual copy of it that you can read by hand. If not, just simply download the zip file. You may need WinRAR, um, which I already had installed, and it will just be a PDF file like mine. Once you have that, scroll down and just look for the overview of the board. As you can see, we got the CPU slot, the RAM, and then in the bottom right hand corner, number 10, is actually the system panel connector. And that is what you want to look for. Your motherboard might have a similar location to mine. So you could try there if you don't know the name of your motherboard. Then the manual should take you to the page where you will find out the information on each little hole or pin. So, section 9, system panel connector. Now, as you can see, you want to find the power and the reset. And it should be two pins for each. Next step, lay your computer down so you can have easy access. Sorry about the focus. And then you might want to just unplug this here, just by squeezing this. Uh, I'm just going to leave it for now because I've already done it. And then my pins I found out were actually, if you look at the motherboard, the CPU, PCI slots. Uh, the RAM is there, and then here, 
right down the back is where the little pins are. So I had to take out my graphics card. You may have to do this. It's pretty easy, really. You just unscrew that right there, right down to the PCI slot. You will see this little bit here. It's a little switch. Like that blue one there, you just push that down and that'll unlock it and you can simply just grab it out. You might want to unplug anything, so I had to plug out my HDMI. Then once you get that out, you will see some pins. I'll put a little picture on screen of what they look like. And you just want to simply swap them around. Okay, that should be it. Simply press the reset switch and it should come on like normal. The lights will still light up because they're connected separately. But as you can see, my power button is still down, doesn't do anything. What happened there was the BIOS was just checking the settings, I think, because you we plugged the uh, pins out. So it should be fine. Just go on the BIOS and then click save and exit. Uh, check your settings are fine, mine were the same, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, should be fixed. Windows are just fine.